The roof at Western Sydney Airport is one of the biggest of its kind. The thing that intrigues me most is just the scale of the roof. It is just huge. I think what's been most challenging is that we've had to develop kind of two custom bespoke solutions, one for the roof and one for the feature ceiling that have never been done before. The main terminal roof is 200 metres by 140 metres and the adjoining pier building which houses the gate lounges is 25 metres wide and 550 metres long. Over 3,000 tonnes of structural steelwork was required to support the roofing here at WSIA, 90% of which was Australian milled steel with 100% of fabrication and painting taking place in Australia. In order to fabricate the sheet, we actually set up an on-site fabrication facility. The top sheet is up to 80 metres in length and we've done that to minimise the amount of joints in the roof and also allow for thermal expansion in the roof sheets. And obviously lifting something that's 80 metres long up onto the roof required um, a lot of planning and a lot of detailed sequencing. So the intent of the roof was to appear as if it was floating over the facade and the feature columns that you can see behind me. Architecturally, this ties in with the battens as well to kind of give the feel of a tree trunk or canopy structure. The spans are up to 27 metres, which is quite large, with large structural steel spanning between these columns, and that just provides more expansive space within the terminal. The feature columns are tapered at the bottom and the top to provide a more slimline appearance and complement the tapered roof perimeter. They are up to 20 metres tall and support the roof canopy amongst the feature ceiling. The feature ceiling in particular is certainly the eye-catching element for visitors to the airport. So one of the critical things that we developed in our design were some of the key features that we feel reflect Western Sydney and Australia. The ceilings are pretty crucial, so they are a very visual part of the original reference design, but they're also, I think, the most successful architectural interpretation of the narrative. That is constructed of 188 kilometres worth of aluminium extrusion battens, which would take us from where I'm standing to about Jarvis Bay. The way it's been architecturally designed really responds to its natural environment. From the undulating profile of the ceiling behind me, which reflects the Blue Mountains behind us, to the colour palette that, that we've selected here. So natural sandstones, ochres, deep red browns, and the greys here, which also are depicted as tree trunks and branches supporting the canopy structure. There will be approximately 8,000 solar panels on the roofing structures here at Western Sydney International Airport, and that produces about 5,800 megawatt hours of power which is enough to supply about 800 homes for a year. Multiplex is an incredibly experienced builder, so having them on the job has been a great asset. It's really complex and they're doing an incredible job. Thinking back to the original concept renders and designs for this feature ceiling, it's really rewarding to see the finished product and how successfully it's captured that original vision after two and a half years of design, prototyping and construction. I really look forward to bringing my family and friends along to this new airport. Uh, catch a flight out of here and walk back underneath the feature ceiling that I'm proud to be a part of. Mm -hmm.